Hello everybody, I am Bhumika Chaurasia and I am here to tell you about the importance of the day today. It is the International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction. It was started by United Nations General Assembly in year 1989. That the 13th October of every year will be celebrated how people and the community around the world are reducing their exposure to disaster and raising awareness about the importance of living in the risk that they face. In 2015, at the third UN World Conference of Disaster Risk Reduction in Sendai, Japan, the international community was reminded that the disaster hit hardest at the local level and caused huge loss of life and the great social and economical upsets. Disaster may cause climate changes and have negative impact on investment in sustainable development. This day internationally it is tied to mobilize the awareness among the people to achieve great concern about the various risks caused due to the disasters, let us also as in society and as a nation try to work hard hand in hand to reduce the various risks of disasters and save our own kind and the spe species around us. The Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction was adopted on 18 March 2015 at the third UN World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction in Sendai, Japan. It was endorsed three months later by the UN General Assembly. The Sendai Framework is a call to action over the next 15 years to make the world a safer place and to reduce the risk of man-made and natural hazards. It is designed specifically to achieve the substantial reduction of disaster risk and losses in lives, livelihoods and health preventing new and emerging risk and reducing existing risk is essential to any substantial reduction in disaster losses. It has four main priorities. Priority 1. Understanding disaster risk is about ensuring that policies and practices for disaster risk management are based on a clear understanding of vulnerability and exposure to hazards. Priority 2. Strengthening disaster risk governance means having a clear strategy, strong institutions, laws and budget to ensure the efficient management of disaster risk. Priority 3. Investing in disaster risk reduction for resilience includes public and private investment in measures which will prevent and reduce losses. Priority 4. The importance of disaster preparedness and building back better after a disaster strikes. The Sendai framework sets out seven targets to measure progress in achieving a substantial reduction of disaster risk. Target 1. To substantially reduce global disaster mortality by 2030. Between 2005 and 2015, over 700,000 people around the world lost their lives from disasters. Target 2. To substantially reduce the number of affected people globally by 2030. In the last 10 years, over 1.4 million people were injured and 24 million have been made homeless. Target 3. Reduce direct disaster economic loss in relation to GDP. One dollar invested in resilient infrastructure can save seven dollars or more in response and recovery costs. Target 4. Reduce damage to infrastructure and disruption to basic infrastructure. The Sendai framework also sets targets for increasing the number of countries with disaster risk reduction strategies, increasing international cooperation to developing countries, and substantially increasing public access to early warning systems. The Sendai framework is a critical part of the post-2015 development agenda. It supports the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and the Climate Change Agreement. Everyone has a stake in disaster risk reduction. Each state has the primary responsibility. But all citizens need to be engaged and risk informed. Together, we can all make a difference.
Hello everybody, I'm Sadhvi Lagde and I'm here to tell you about the measures of disaster risk reduction. Disaster risk governance is a theme of this year, International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction, on 13 October in a year, when a great number of people have died because of this COVID-19 pandemic. This year, International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction is all about governance. You can measure a good disaster risk governance in life safe, reduce number of disaster affected people and reduce economic losses. COVID-19 and climate emergencies are telling us that we need a clear vision, plan, competent. This requires having national and local strategies for disaster risk reduction in place. By the end of the year, as argued by UN member state, when they adopted the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction in 2015, we need to see strategies which addresses not just a single hazard like flood and storm, but those that respond to seismic risk which was generated by zoonotic diseases, climatic shocks, and environmental breakdown. In keeping with the day focus on the impact the disasters have on the people and well-being, many disasters can be avoided if there is a risk in form, construction and maintenance of critical infrastructure.